A bill that would ban immigration detention facilities in our state is now on the governor's desk. The proposed law would prohibit ICE or Immigration's Customs and Enforcement from creating any future facilities. There are currently only two in the state, one at the Teller County Jail and the Federal Detention Center in Aurora. I had the chance to travel to that facility in Aurora for an exclusive tour to find out how this bill could impact them from deporting undocumented immigrants. How would that impact ICE on a day-to-day -day basis? We have a mission to execute. We execute that mission every day, no matter where we're at, uh, and we'll continue to do that. Kelly Walker is the Deputy Field Office Director for ICE in Denver. At their detention facility in Aurora, they house people who they believe have entered the United States illegally. 13 Investigates got an inside look at the detention center earlier this month. Right now, it's at about half capacity, housing just under 600 undocumented immigrants. Many are people convicted of violent crimes who are wearing red or orange jumpsuits inside the facility. But if a bill to ban these types of centers is signed by the governor, ICE would be prohibited from opening new facilities like this in our state. We like to work hard and work with our, our partners. Um, at the end of the day, we'll execute our mission, whether it's in a custodial setting, such as a jail or an, another prison, or we'll execute it in an at-large environment. One way or another, our, the ICE mission continues. This piece of legislation aims to outlaw an agreement that Teller County Sheriff Jason Mikesell has with ICE, which allows them to hold undocumented immigrants in his jail at the request of immigration agents. So what are we going to do with these people? Well, either they're going to be dumped right back out before they get to see a judge, or ICE is going to have a harder time getting a hold of these people. Mikesell says he's able to hold up to 48 inmates wanted by ICE agents, but they have to pay the Teller County Sheriff's Office for the bed space, which Mikesell says greatly helps with the county's revenue. But the bill sponsors argue that immigrant rights should be more important than money. Their testimony really focused on revenue and really focused on the dollar amount. And really the reception of their testimony was that it's okay for local governments to enter into contracts as long as they're getting the money, even if that means denying somebody dignity. The remaining question is, will Governor Polis sign this bill into law? We reached out to his office today to try and get an answer to that question, but we're still waiting for his response.